Hello everybody, Wayback Sports Cards, and we're here to do uh, a video, a special video, to explain what a NPN is when it comes to trading cards. Um, I will explain to you what it is, um, how you can get, how you can use that to get free cards, and uh, what the process is uh, to make sure that you do get cards and that you aren't disqualified, and also to show you where you could find uh, offers online and the information on how to enter. So what I'm first going to do is I am going to show you the back of a pack of cards and um, as you remember from most packs of cards what you see at the very top in number one is the the odds of what you can receive in a uh, given pack of cards. Uh, often the list is quite long these days. Um, but by doing an NPN, you have a chance of getting one of the cards listed under the odds list. Um, also, at the bottom half of the pack here, you see the no purchase necessary. And it's usually open to U.S. and Canadian residents. But pay attention to that on the pack of cards. Um, and, and just, I'll walk you through what it says on the back of the pack first. And then we can go through how to do it. So you can see, it tells you who it's open to. Um, you For number two, it tells you exactly what you need to send. A three by five index card is usually what they need. And a number 10 envelope, which is a standard um, envelope that you would get your, your bills in the mail in. And number three, they tell you exactly where to mail your NPN to. Now this um, is particularly from a pack of 2019 Topps Chrome Baseball. So it gives you the address, but pay attention. Do not use that address. Each product has a separate address. So you need to pay attention to the correct one. Um, so three is the address. Four, it tells you exactly what to do. One card per envelope, mailed separately, postmarked by. So they give you the postmark date. That's number four. And then it says received by. So not only do you have to get it to the post office and get it postmarked by a certain date, but um, the company has to receive it by a certain date for it to be uh, accepted. Um, and then it'll say in between five and six, usually there's a limit of one per household, but sometimes they will let you send two, but pay attention to that as well. And then um, number six, it'll tell you when the drawing occurs. Um, so there's number six, it'll tell you when they do the drawing and then a few weeks later you'll receive your card. And then the last thing, mostly, um, uh, usually on tops, it'll tell you that uh, Canadian enterers do need to answer a mathematical skill testing question. So on the three by five card where you would put your name and address, you also have to answer a math question. And uh, that's what number seven is. So that's essentially um, the rules on how to do an NPN. And what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna walk you through uh, the process of what to do and um, first off first and foremost you got to make sure you have the right materials we, we talked about this a minute ago um, what you need to do this is you need three by five index cards you need number 10 envelopes um, you need postage stamps and um, you need a pen to to write on the envelope and on your index card so make sure you have all those things Really don't need a whole lot there to get things done. Really the most expensive thing is probably the, the, the stamp. Um, so once you have those, um, you take your index card and you are going to put your, um, you're gonna put your full name, your address. Um, if you are in the United States, uh, you do not have to put United States at the bottom, but name and address. If you're from Canada, um, Make sure you put Canada at the bottom of your address. And then if you're from Canada, you also want to make sure you have your skill test answer on the card. So the photos on the slide show you exactly what needs to be done there. I would print in capital letters. Make sure there's no mistake um, of, of what, you're, um, you know, what you're writing. Make sure your, your handwriting is very clear to the person who is, who is reading it. Otherwise, you may not get your card. So... Um, so there you go. If it is one that allows for two entries, you can't put two index cards in one envelope. You have to send two separate envelopes. So please keep note of that. The next step is uh, take your number 10 envelope and uh, write the full address 
of the NPN uh, for that NPN on the on the post on the um, envelope full address. Um, don't forget your return address, and obviously don't forget the postage stamp um, on the envelope. And it, it really, it's just an index card and an envelope, so you shouldn't need extra postage. One stamp should do the trick. Um, so there's that. Then you would just put your three by five card into your envelope, seal the envelope, and uh, place it in your mailbox, and and simply wait for your card to arrive. The card will arrive several weeks after the drawing date. So, um, you know, you may have to wait a while, but um, uh, eventually you will receive one card um, in the mail. And um, so now I am going to uh, show you where you could find NPN offers um, if you don't have packs of cards or you're not buying new packs of cards. There, there is a website out there that I found that will list all of the NPN offers that are active. They'll even tell you when the offer is no longer active. It is a website called npnoffers.com. Um, that's where I'm getting most of the photos here and um, most of the information. And so NPN offers. I even put a little clip of what the top of the page looks like. And what I'm going to show you now is uh, one of the more recent NPN offers that are listed on their website just came out is a 2022 Top Star Wars Signature Series. It was just posted on the 16th of February. And you can see right on the main page, it'll tell you, uh, it'll show you one of the cards. Uh, it shows the release date, and then below that, um, the postmark date, which is when your NPN envelope has to be postmarked by, if you wanna enter, the received date below, and then the drawing date, which is June 1st. So if you're sending it out now, you're gonna wait quite a while for the card. But anyway, if you're interested in sending an NPN for that particular item, what you do is, if you're on the NPN Offers website, you click right below where it says More Info, and it's going to take you to the next page. And um, the next page, it, it has all of the information that you would need in order to um, submit for that NPN. So you actually, this website's great because you don't have to buy a pack of these cards to find out the NPN information. This website compiles it, people submit their NPN information, and it's kind of a great way to help the community. And um, I think if you go through the website right now, there's probably about a dozen that are active. So um, you gotta check at different times of the year, there may be more than others, but there's about a dozen that are still active at the moment. But um, for this particular one, you click on the uh, more info and it takes you to the next page and it shows the box of cards, the hobby box, the full odds, the NPN info, and then there it is right below the box, the address. This is the address that you need to use if you want to uh, submit for this particular NPN. And you'll see NPN 2022's Top Star Wars Signature Series NPN Group T. Um, the PO box and the, and the city state uh, are usually the same for tops so it's the npn the top line that changes for each product so you do need to click on more information it is not the same exact uh that that first line will change depending on the product so please pay attention to that otherwise uh you know you may not it may not work uh, and again they show you the postmark date the received by date the drawing date which was on the previous page but this is great for those of you in Canada. They do um, the website does also answer the skill test question for you. So there it is uh, for this particular one. Uh, it shows you what the skill test answer is. So all you gotta do is write that on your index card along with your uh, your address. So there it is. There's a, just a very quick uh, cursory way to uh, explain to you guys what an NPN is. And, and how to uh, how to sign up for one. Um, I just started submitting these a couple weeks ago, so I have not received any yet. But once I do start receiving them in a few months, I will share um, what I receive. You can expect one card. Um, and if you want to see examples of NPNs, uh, you can actually do a YouTube search um, for NPN baseball cards, NPN trading cards. And there's a handful, there aren't too many, but there's a handful of videos from, from different folks who have done NPNs over the years and they share what they've get what they've got in the mail. Um, 
I've seen some some insert cards. I've seen some uh, uh, serial numbered cards. So um, if you guys ever do any, I'd be I'd be really amazed and curious to hear what you guys have received or if you've done this already. Be curious to find out what kind of cool cards you are getting. Um, but I saw this. I thought it was a really cool way to get some 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 cards. Um, really for the cost of a postage stamp. So uh, I figured I'd give it a try and I'd like to share this information with you and hopefully you could try as well. And hopefully we'll all find some really cool baseball cards that, that come to us in the mail. Um, the one other thing I would mention is you may want to keep track of which NPNs you're sending out to. Uh, as I noted, um, a lot of them have one limit, one per entry or two per entry. So you may want to keep track of which ones you've sent out so that you don't send them out twice because if you send out twice and it's limit one, you may be disqualified and not get anything at all. So you may want to do an NPN tracker. I haven't done it yet, um, but I may do it as I send out more and more over the coming months. But with that, that is the NPN uh, explained video. Uh, hope this helps. I hope you guys all get some really cool cards. And uh, with that, we thank you for watching. Uh, stay tuned for some more pack breaks here on the channel. And I uh, hope everybody has a great day. Uh, so long, everyone. Take care.